everybody, welcome. We are here today at the Creation Store because there is so much new merchandise. It's like they just refreshed the whole store all of a sudden. I mean, we've been kind of coming in and out of the Creation Store. We haven't, I feel like we haven't been to the Creation Store for like at least a week. Um, and all of a sudden now there's just a ton of new merchandise. So we, decided, we thought it would be a great time to do all the new merchandise, show you all the really great new things that are here at the Creation Shop at Walt Disney World here in Epcot. Um, I think you're going to be surprised, so let's get inside. Test track, test track. Woohoo! We decided to do single rider at test track. Um, I'm a big fan of single rider on test track because it doesn't really matter to me if I sit right next to her or not. And a lot of times we get in the same car. Like we're actually in the same car. She's right behind me in the seat. She's not right next to me, but she's going to be right behind me. So, and. It was a 45 minute wait right now. How long did we wait? Zero minutes. Right on. Woohoo! Woohoo! We'll begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and service conditions. Monitoring road surface. Connecting to on star. Sim car performance data acquired. Let's see how your designs hold up now. Commencing sim car off-road and extreme weather sequence. <laughs> Capability test results displayed and verified. Now let's see how your vehicles compare when it comes to their efficiency. Responsiveness data is now being synchronized. Automated driving technology verified and active.
so good. I feel like this area back here at the end of the ride is pretty cool. Um, I, I'll be honest, that thing does not work. Like, you literally cannot drive your car on that, I'm not going to lie. I think it's a cool idea because you can basically build your car and then you can use it on there to actually test it out and, like, drive around. But it is literally impossible to drive on that thing. Like, the, the controls are just really terrible. I think it looks cool in here, though. There's some pretty cool stuff. Just a quick stop into the old Coca-Cola Club Cool. Get a little drink. They didn't have my watermelon, though. Man, I was sick. I got the banana drink instead, which is almost as good. It is awesome, but no sour watermelon, unfortunately, so. We stopped in here at the Creation Shop and check out all this new fall sort of like back to school merchandise. This is all Star Wars. Look at this, it's this sort of like Star Wars Rebels shirt here. Long sleeves, 50 bucks. I don't see anything on the back, but it's really cool. They got this sweatshirt here. It's got kind of like part Darth Vader, part uh, the First Order or the Stormtroopers, so Imperial Stormtroopers. It's got this like plaid sleeve here. It's kind of interesting. It's almost like a sweatshirt in the center, but it's kind of like more like a flannel on the sleeve, like even like the texture of it. And then there's the back of it. It's kind of cool. It's like 60 bucks. And then they had this same this same sort of Imperial Stormtroopers sort of like fanny pack type thing. They've got this cool backpack. Check this out. It says Wookiees and Rebels side by side. And this is $35 for this sort of like fanny pack, I guess, type bag. And then this larger backpack is only 50 bucks. I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. It's actually pretty cool. They've got sweatpants. They've got another shirt here with the Wookiees slash rebels sort of on each side of it nothing on the back just sort of like the two colors and this is a 30 dollars shirt it's pretty cool they got a lot of this back to school stuff it's kind of neat all star wars related so they have this new um, feminine looking star wars stuff at the creation shop i feel like i saw some of it at the world of disney last week but here now they have the creation shop i actually really really like it i always say the star wars merch isn't very feminine um, so I never really buy any of it, um, just because that's my personal style. Um, but look at this. It's a long cardigan, and it's kind of in this like light taupey color, and it has embroidered Star Wars characters on it. I can't really see what this says. <laughs> Steve can probably put that in the description, or put it on the screen. May the Force be with you. Um, but it is so, so soft. And, just like everyone, every woman wants, it has pockets. Like, I'm not kidding. This is so cute. Um, it's $64.99. Like, I'm having a battle in my head of whether I want to buy it or not. Um, because I really want it. It's actually super, super, super comfortable. More comfortable than any of my other sweaters I have. This isn't a sweater, but it's cardigan. But same thing. Same deal. So cute. It, oh, it does? Bruh. I didn't know it had a hood. That makes it cuter. Um, it says, may the force be with you on the hood. I want it. Now I want it even more. And they also have a few other items. Um, I feel like this shirt is really cute. Um, it has the embroidered like Princess Leia, Yoda, um, Chewbacca, CP3O. Did I say that? CP3O? CP... C3PO. C3PO, I always say. Um, and it's $39.99, um, but it's a very quality um, shirt. It says Star Wars right here, down here on the bottom. It's like an ivory color. And then they have these pants, and they're joggers, and they're really cute. They're kind of like a, a mauve color, um, but they kind of look like they're slim fit, um, I would say. And it says, may the force be with you down here on the bottom. And um, it has a little belt loop. And if you want to wear a belt, which I don't know that I would with these joggers, but da da da, they have a belt. It's really cute. I already um, tried to put it on um, and look at it. I must say though, I try to put it on. This is the smallest it gets. 
it doesn't get very small. Um, and there's no really, I mean, I guess you could put holes in it, um, but I like tried to put it around this shirt and tried to put it around myself and it was just a little um, too, too big um, for me. So it is, oh, you know what? There's sizes. There's sizes. It's a large, extra large. I wonder if there's other sizes. So just kidding. They have sizes. And they actually have even an extra small, small. So very, very cute. Good job, Disney World, on getting the feminine Star Wars stuff because it has me interested and I've never been interested before. And then they have this sweater. It is $49.99 and it's cute. It has like, it like has the sleeves out. You could actually wear this under it or just any um, plain white shirt if you didn't want to buy this to go under it because it's kind of pricey. Um, or a plain black like t-shirt or something. Or if you live in Florida, nothing under it. But um, it is really cute. It's black and white and it says, may the force be with you. They keep coming out with more and more merchandise for one of the most underrated, I feel like, Disney movies of all time, which is Hercules. Um, I feel like Hercules does not get enough love and it has such good music in it. And it's such a fun movie. Um, I get excited every time I see more Hercules merch come out. And so check this out. They've got a few new items. Like this new tumbler that they have. It says, so hot, so cool. Uh, it's got Hades on there. It's just such a cool tumbler and it's $45. I mean, it, look how cool. It's like shiny, metallic. It's really neat. And they've also got this new shirt here. It's $36.99 and it's got lots of different Hades stuff on it. Expect perfection, not today. Have all the answers. Put your fate in my hands. I mean, all the different things that he says during the movie. I just think it's just such a cool shirt. Um, I mean, the color may not be for everybody. It depends on your visual aesthetic, but it's just kind of a neat shirt. And I love that they're bringing more and more Hercules stuff into the merchandise. And then for anybody who's interested in button-down shirts, check this out. And this is $60. It's a little bit expensive, I feel like. Um, but look at this. It's got the little Pegasus and stuff from Hercules. It's kind of this like sky blue texture. Pretty much the same on the back, but I mean, if you're interested in like a cool button-down shirt and you're a fan of these style, it's almost like a Hawaiian shirt kind of, it almost feels like, but Hercules. So they have a couple new sweaters um, here at the Creation Shop, and they're actually pretty thick. Um, da 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 A Mickey sweater. And then they also have mini. And the mini one is polka dot, and it's actually polka dot on the back as well. Um, it, they are really, really thick sweaters, I must say. They are uh, $69.99, which I think is a lot um, for sweaters. But look, at this one has um, the little Mickey on the sleeve. And it's in like the primary colors of red and yellow, but they're kind of like a little bit, they're not like bright red and yellow. They're a tiny bit muted, and they are so cute. And then, da da da! They have figment leggings, and I love figment. I think it's weird kind of that they're red because figment's purple and orange, but I, I, I guess that doesn't matter. But look, he's so cute, and it has like the little split in the front, which is super in style right now. And then it has the red band, and it says Walt Disney World down the side. And you can actually see him from the back as well. Um, and these are $39.99, which I don't really think is that bad, and they do feel quality. Um, I wouldn't want to try them on. And I don't think there's anywhere you can try on things in the creation shop. There's not. Um, but these are really cute. Check out all this Mad Hatter teacup and Dumbo merch that they have now. Look at this. Look how cute this Dumbo mug is. Um, and inside of it, if you can see, it has the little mouse, little stirrer here. It's super cute. I don't know what this is. Maybe like a small little, like, I don't know, cookie jar? Not 100% sugar, maybe? Sugar or spice? Anything nice? We've got these little guys down here. we got more Mad Hatter stuff here. It's Mad Hatter teacups bowl here, and it's got all these like little um, cups, the, the, the sort of spinning teacups on the inside, which I think is really cute. We've got this like Mad Hatter teacups dish. And this, I don't really get this mug. It's kind of cool, but I don't really know what you do at the top of it once you take it off. I guess it just becomes like a collectible that you sit maybe on the counter. Um, but it's kind of neat. And they have one of the actual teacups. So the Mad Hatter spinning teacup itself that you can buy as a mug. Look how cute this is. This is $19.99. This was $27.99. This was $39.99. A little bit more expensive, but it's pretty big and solid in quality. 
The bowls were $29.99. The Dumbo mug was $24.99 as was whatever this thing is, not 100% sure. These little tea, uh, sort of tea things down here are $39.99. And it does look like they work. This sort of top part comes off. You can, you can actually use it to pour um, like coffee or tea or whatever. And then they have sort of like a tall version of the mug, like a tall cup or mug, which is $24.99 as well. So if you're interested in any Mad Hatter teacup, if you're a fan of that, they have tons of merchandise as well as some Dumbo stuff too. So tons of it here at the Creation Shop. So there were some ears I missed out on when the creation shop opened because I was in Cincinnati and I was like, uh, I was so annoyed. Um, da da da, look what's back. And they have a lot of them. They had two, them in two different locations in the creation shop. They're $39.99. These light up. Um, they, they come with like the little charger uh, cord, which I like. I don't like the ones that don't come with the charger cord. Um, and these are so cute and they're like a light gray color and I have been wanting these since the creation shop opened. They have them. They sold out so fast, they were gone like the first day or the second day. I went like the third day, the creation shop opened and they were gone and they never brought them back again. They're back. Check out this cute Halloween stitch that they have. Look how cute it is. I just love Stitch and how cute is he in his little Halloween outfit. Ooh, man, he's cute. It's $26.99 though, which I feel like is kind of expensive because he's not very big. Um, he's kind of tiny. I don't know if you can get like a sense of how big he is, but like he's not very big. We got a rare sight up here. We don't get to see them very often. Most of the time we come by they're not there or they're setting up. Let's get a quick glimpse of them. After we've been here almost the entirety of the time, we finally got drinks. And I was dying. She was, I think she was about to pass out, I'm literally. Not I don't know what it is today. It's super, super humid or something. I haven't been that hot, which is weird, because usually it's the opposite. Maybe it's just me. I just don't feel that great. And my allergies China. are going insane. Some. Ugh. But I'm glad we finally got yeah. our $10 drinks right before we were leaving. Yeah, it was like nine something for both of us. But it was so hot. We had I had to get a drink. We had to get a drink. We can Do stop not. at the refreshment port because the drinks are big. I mean you can get free ice water. You yeah. can get free ice water. You just go up to any place, get free ice water. But I was in the mood for Diet Coke, so whatever, we'll pay for it. So um, stay hydrated, I'm telling you. I don't know what we were doing. Usually Maybe we get I a drink. Yeah, usually we get a drink when we first get here. We did stop at Club Cool, but I mean come on. Yeah. That little that little tiny cup ain't doing nothing. So anyhow. Wow. I mean, we just came in the Mexico Pavilion, but I have not seen it this crowded at Epcot in a while. And I mean, this just gives you an example. Check out Le Cava de Tequila here. This is the line to get in. And I've seen it long before too, but I haven't seen it like this in a long time. Check this out. All the way up the ramp, all the way there that they actually had to block that side off. So you can't actually come in that way. You have to come in that way because the line waiting to get in to Le Cava de Tequila is that long. So, I mean, like I said, I've seen it that long before, but it's been a while, so it's really crowded here today. I don't think I've ever seen this before. If I have, I don't remember it. This is so cute. I'm not a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, but if you are, look how cute this is. And look at the back. It says this way to Wonderland. Oh, that's cute. I love the colors of it, but for some reason, <laughs> it's on the inside. Oh, just the inside. And um, for some reason, there's only one of them. Just one. I feel like I've not seen this before. I don't know, and I don't know why there's only one. <laughs> it's $64.99. And on the inside of the hood is this like little Alice in Wonderland print that matches the Alice in Wonderland ears. They're right here. Yeah. So that's so cute. You could have a whole outfit. So cute. I don't know why there's only one. Hey, check it out. See that guy up there? There's a guy working on the roof of the Wonders of Life Pavilion, uh, which is over here. You know, it's next to Mission Space, in between that and Guardians of the Galaxy. I haven't seen anybody doing anything on that pavilion in like years now. There's a guy working on the roof. 
you're probably wondering why is he pointing out some random guy on top of the Wonders of Life pavilion. It's because they were supposed to have been doing uh, like a play pavilion in the Wonders of Life to revitalize it and do something with it to give Epcot another thing, uh, another thing in that space. But they didn't announce anything at D23. People have been speculating that the project's been canceled. Um, but we have consistently, when we get off the ride of Guardians of the Galaxy, our bands go off. And so I keep wondering if there's actually something in the one, because the exit is literally like touching the Wonders of Life Pavilion. And I keep wondering if they've actually done something in there that was causing this to trigger um, because we're in proximity of whatever it is. And now that I see a guy working up on the roof over there, it's making me think more and more like they might actually be doing something in that pavilion and maybe they're gonna open it soon or in the near future. It's, it's kind of interesting to me, I'm, I'm curious. Now, for some reason, the last couple of times we've gotten off Guardian of the Galaxy, our band hasn't gone off. So I keep wondering if like whatever they were doing in there, they've now finished it and turned it off. Uh, but for like a long time, every single time we got off, I asked the cast members and they were like, I don't know, there's nothing over here that should be causing that. So I keep wondering, and now I see somebody working on it. It might be opening soon. I have to keep checking it out. So what do we tell you? I mean, there was so much new merch. Um, and then your favorite piece of merch, what was it? What was your favorite piece of merch? Probably the ears I've been looking for for Yeah, forever. <laughs> yeah. The Epcot ears. She, I mean, I don't think you understand. When, <laughs> she was so sick when those ears came out. Um, and they came out, like, when we were out of town. And then, like, right when we got back, we came. And when we, we kept coming here, like, every day for, like, weeks coming back. And for looking for them, checking all the different places in Epcot, they were all gone. <laughs> And she was so sick. And then every time, of course, when we're walking through the parks and she would see them on somebody's head, she'd be like, mm, really? Man, I missed out. And they're back. They were back finally. And they had a bazillion of them too, by the way. I don't think they'll sell out of them this time really quickly. So that was super awesome. She ended up getting the ears that she's been wanting for a while. And they're so cute. They light up. I can't wait to see them at nighttime. But there was so much new merch. Hercules. I'm so glad to see more Hercules stuff coming back. Uh, but let us know what you thought. Let us know what your favorite uh, merchandise items were. Uh, also, if you're interested in seeing other types of merch, other things that we don't do, uh, let us know. Thanks again for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. We will see you again tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, comment. Until then, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.